what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, if you guys haven't checked it out yet I have a new series called Wicked Wednesday where every Wednesday during the month of October I'll be putting up a new Halloween-esque build I've already put the first one up this last Wednesday and uh, so go check that out I'll leave a link to it in the description down below but today we are here to talk about the next Parallel World Marble Run from Roker, the brand new one, just came out uh, a couple of days ago. This is the Future City. So part two of the Parallel World is here. Uh, full disclosure, Roker did send me this one to build and review on the channel. Uh, but you guys already know if you already watched the first video of The Last City, I will leave that link right up here so you can check that one out. Great great build absolutely love it and i can't wait to get this one built and connect them together so you can connect up to four together as you can see here but without any further ado guys let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right guys here it is this is the one i've been waiting for so i can connect the two together this is the future city very cool looking this has got more of a pinkish theme where uh, the last city has kind of an orange theme to it. Um, so let's go ahead before we do anything else, let's get this plastic off so it's not so shiny. Here we go. All right, there we are guys, all the plastic off. Again, like the other one, this is for ages 14 and up and it has LED lights in it. 174 centimeters of track. And uh, again, this is the Parallel World Series. Now they have two of these out now, completely available. You can go to their website and purchase them. Uh, I believe they have different deals where you can get just one or two or four all together. Let's look at the side here. Again, this is a uh, sprue type build. Think of it kind of like a Gundam style where you, um, Gundam style. Open Gundam style. <laughs> Not Gundam style, a Gumpla style where you have all the plastic sprues and you cut the parts out of the sprue. So here is the back here. So here it is the way they would be all joined four together. I like the look of this one. I like it a lot. Not sure if I like it better than the last city. Uh, I will make that determination after I have them both built. Now you can take the two and connect them side by side like this. But if you do that, you're only utilizing that original lift ramp. You're not utilizing the new lift ramp at all. So all you would do is change this one to where the marbles are coming in this side and going back out that side. And then at the top of the lift hill, you would just have to change out the diverter where it goes one way and then the other. But I'm going to do it this way. Now I would kind of rather have it setting this way, but I'm going to do it this way for you guys so you can see how the lift ramp works combined together. So the marbles are going to come all the way up to the top and then come all the way down through both models. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then when I get two more, I'll be able to just connect them onto the sides and change out that one diverter at the top again. So it's going to go to either side. But this is how I'm going to do it for you guys so you can see how it works that way. Again, here's another picture showing four of them connecting together. I'm going to do it like that. I do know a lot of people were complaining that the build time on the last one showed 90 minutes. I'm trying to see here what the build time is. I don't see it. I don't see it marked on this one. It might, it's probably on here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. I know the last one said 90 minutes. It took me a little over two hours to build the first one. Uh, some people it's taken them three hours or so. It just depends on how fast you're going uh, and your experience with these types of models so uh, you know the time is going to vary depending on the person you know really uh, but again this does take a type c power cord and i believe just like the last one it's going to have a c to c so let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we got inside all right guys we have our instruction manual right on top the instruction manual was great on the first one i had no issues with it let's uh put that to the side let's see what we got here are our little background pieces they're cardboard stock that are the cityscape that goes in here's our parts list here again i love that they're putting the part list separate 
from the manual now because before you would be in there and you go, I need that part, and you have to flip back to the front, try to find it, flip back to where you are, lose your spot. It's nice to just have it uh, separate, so I'm glad they're doing that. Here's our plastic front. This is the back piece and some of our sprues. Uh, here's some more of our nice interior pieces, plastic pieces here more cityscape. Again, there's a lot of LED lights in this. So you can see how you got the purples that's gonna work with the pink in this. Here's uh, quite a few pieces on sprues and more sprues. You got some translucent pink pieces there, some white pieces and more sprues, more just plastic pieces here that go in, ramps and things, and even more of that. Wow, some of these are I just like the, I love the look of this. This futuristic cyberpunk look is really awesome. I also, uh, pretty soon I'm going to be building a cyberpunk motorcycle that I got off of Timu. Really cool looking. I can't wait to build that one. Let's look inside the box here. Again, we have our tools. Uh, you get a screwdriver and this, this, uh, stick here is a magnetized stick for reaching in and grabbing the marbles. Now, I have had somebody leave a comment about being careful about that because it can magnetize the marbles if you leave it connected too long or use it a lot you can magnetize the marbles and they can stick together and make them a little uh difficult to, to operate i haven't had that issue with this one but they did say they have had that problem before so you know just something to look out for appreciate that uh i forget your name on there who left the comment uh but i appreciate that thank you here's our leds we'll be connecting all of these up at the beginning to make sure they all work here's our circuit board and I'm assuming that we will just connect this, uh, the top one to the bottom one, and then it'll work off one plug since uh, it's only gonna need one motor. So uh, that's what I'm assuming we're gonna be doing. And uh, here's all of our marbles and things like that. Again, you get one of these little nail clippers type clippers. Uh, I would suggest going out and getting a proper pair of spruce snips to get a cleaner cut. But if you don't have it, uh, these will work just fine. I have used these. Uh, plenty of times before I ever bought spruce snips, but when you do get the spruce snips, you'll see a world of difference. All right, let's put that to the side. This is our lift hill pieces inside here. Uh, we won't be dealing with that until the end. And again, if you're not doing it, stacking them on top, you won't use that lift hill at all. You'll just change uh, a couple of pieces in the original lift hill and you'll be set to go. So here is our build box right here. It kind of reminds me of like a light bright back in the day where you get the little pegs and stick them in to form things. It uses these holes here. Uh, that's what everything connects to. And it's just pressure fit in there. So you just following the instructions, you line your piece up where it goes on these holes and you push it in. And uh, that's how you set this whole thing up. Really cool. So that tells me they can easily make more variants, varieties of this model. So we can have four different ones connected together. That would be really cool. I hope they do. It seems that this model is actually doing quite well. So hopefully they're gonna do that and uh, we'll have even more variety. But uh, yeah, that's all the pieces, guys. Let's get that out. What are we gonna do though with this box? That's always the issue, right? Getting rid of all the packaging. So let's, uh, let's see if we can just push it into the table. I'm gonna put my hand on it and just kind of try to push it hard. One, two, three. There we go. Gone. Works like a charm. You guys should try that. It's a good way to get rid of that packaging, you know, without having to just, you know, nonchalantly throw it into a river or something. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I recycle. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get started.
guys we are all done with the lost city i've got it attached to the top of the last city here you can probably see it right there kind of running i've got a running great everything seems to be working perfectly and i love it i love this thing and i can't wait to get two more to go on this side i'm gonna kind of hold off i'm hoping maybe they'll design a couple different models so i can have four different ones running uh, instead of uh, two of the same one. Let me turn this off. It's probably kind of noisy. There we go. Gonna take a minute. It's a lot of marbles. There it is. That's all of them. Anyways, guys, I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. I, I just love the look of it. I love the way it works. I love how they connect together. And uh, yeah, I just just in love with this thing, man. I, I really am. It's fantastic. So I didn't really have uh, I didn't really have too many issues uh, when I first got it together. This lift, the top part of the lift hill, the marbles were getting kind of stuck and a little jammed in it. They just needed to be adjusted, a little tweaked here and there, kind of because they the top uh, lift rails connect into the bottom ones, and they got to be just right. So a little bit of adjusting here, trying to push them together a little tighter, lifting it up just a little and uh, just running it. And finally it just worked out and is now running perfectly. No more jams on the lift hill at all, as you can see there. And as you can see uh, in the video that you just watched before this, and uh, everything's working great. I mean, um, I have had them bunch up a few times here and there, uh, but that's that's about it. Generally, it works pretty flawlessly and everything uh, goes right through. There's so many different things. You got two of them together. It's something, man. It's, it's You just can't watch everything. It's so much going on and... Um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just blown away by how cool this is. So it's uh, it really is uh, neat. If you guys are interested in getting this, like I said before, I will leave a, a link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up, comment, walk right over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See. Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.